life goes on And so do we Just how we do it is no mystery One by one We fill the days We find a thousand different ways Sometimes the answer can be hard to find That's something I will never be I'm always here for anything that you need Rain or shine, I'll be the one To share it all as life goes on We share it all as life goes on I can't believe the state of the environment. I can't believe what's going on in the Middle East. It's a tragedy. <laughs> oh, that sluggo really cracks me up. <laughs> Barbara, don't you think it's time you read Beyond the Funnies? Too depressing. <laughs> I wonder how Nancy gets her hair to stay like that. Barbara, the world is depressing, but that doesn't mean that you can just ignore the... I think that's a perm. <laughs> Oh, listen, I'll count me out for dinner tonight, dear. I have a meeting with old lady Peterson about the annual blood drive. Yeah, forget about me, too. I have a date. Let me guess. A cop. Yep. No doubt someone with a name like Chip or Billy Joe. <laughs> Carol, it is so small-minded of you to stereotype cops that way, especially someone like Bucky. <laughs> I mean, Bucky is really hot. You should have seen how cute he looked when he was bending over drawing that chalk outline on the sidewalk. Mm. It must be spring. <laughs> Dear, your health is excellent. Excellent. E X C E L L E N T. Excellent. Good luck with the spelling bee. All right, Laverne, come on, who's next? No one. I all got tired of waiting and went off to see another doctor. Really? Nah, I was just kidding you. I am sorry, I am a little off my stride today. Nick come home last night with a stray puppy. Oh, puppies are so cute. Not this one. He is mangy and scrawny and dumb as a post. It took me over an hour to teach him to sit, stay, and roll over. Laverne, I've had Dreyfus for six years. The only command he obeys is inhale. Nick, I said that dog better not be there when I get home. Don't you think you're being a little intransigent? Intransigent. I am T-R-A-S-S-A. Hey, Dr. Weston? Yes? Hi, Leah Hartman. I'm coordinating the blood drive this year. Oh, what happened to old lady, uh, um, <laughs> uh, Miss Peterson? She got married. You're kidding! Met a man last week, got married yesterday. Oh, that was quick. Well, when you're known as Old Lady Peterson, if something comes along, you jump on it. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to drop this off. It's the latest information on the blood drive. All right, dear. I'll uh, look at it over lunch, and I'll uh, see you at your office at 7? Seven? 7. Okay. Um, you know, it might be more enjoyable to work over dinner. Right around the corner from my building is this wonderful little Italian restaurant that nobody knows about. Benedetta's? What, you know that place? I didn't think anybody else knew it. Whenever I go there, it's completely empty, except for one other person. That was you? <laughs> well, what do you think? Seven? Seven it is. A table for two. Oh, I think that lady likes you. You do? Absolutely. A, B, S, O, L, L, E, absolutely. <laughs> Mrs. Skillman, push harder. Harder? Oh, Dreyfus. That's it. Tom. Sometimes it seems like Breathe. everyone's pregnant but me. <laughs> now really push. We're almost there. How I Fine. envy her. Just try to relax. Okay, so her baby is half human, half fly. <laughs> At least she's going to be a mother. Hi. This is Bucky Barnes. Bucky Barnes. <laughs> Bucky Barnes. You must be Carol. So, what did you and my sister do tonight, Bucky Barnes? 
We rented crimes and misdemeanors and watched it at Bucky's house. Crimes and misdemeanors? It's a Woody Allen film? I know what it is. It just doesn't sound like Barbara's kind of movie, that's all. As I recall, the body count was only one. Yeah, I didn't like it that much. Seemed like an awful lot of depressing talk. Well, I have to disagree with Barbara. I mean, it was bleak, but I found it incredibly provocative. He managed to ask all the basic questions. I mean, a seemingly unjust world? Why should one act justly? Out of a belief in God? But if there is a God, why is there so much injustice? The existential riddle. Are you sure you're a cop? Yeah, that's why I find these issues so intriguing. I mean, every day, Barbara and I have to deal with real-life evil and injustice. They're not just abstract notions when you're out there on the street drawing a chalk outline around a body. I guess what I'm trying to say is, it's tough to be a cop without some sort of belief system. And I just like to catch bad guys and put them away for a long time. I'm with you on that. <laughs> Want me to get us some beer so we can see who burps the loudest? Sure. <laughs> It was nice talking to you, Carol. Sometime we should discuss Camus. You've read Albert Camus? Yeah. I'm gonna shake the can so it squirts all over your face. <laughs> you better not. That's a lovely baby. And he's got your eyes. A lot of them. <laughs> but they're yours. No. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, Laverne, you remember Leah Hartman? Oh, howdy. Hi, Laverne, what lovely flowers. From my husband, Nick. He's trying to get out of the doghouse, so to speak. Oh. <laughs> Nick brought home a puppy the other night, and uh, Laverne and the dog didn't hit it off, so she made him give it away. Only Nick couldn't find any takers, so I just had to pick him up by the scruff of the neck and put him outside. Oh, poor dog. I'm talking about Nick. <laughs> mind having a puppy what kind is he some kind of mutt looks sort of like a real big rat with hair <laughs> plus he's real stupid and ain't housebroke so you want him no would the fact that he's flea ridden turn you around ever considered sales laverne <laughs> oh well i'm just gonna have to take him to the animal shelter maybe some soft-hearted sap like nick will come along and adopt him well i hope so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'd better be going. Yeah. Thank you for lunch. Thank you. So, uh, Thursday night? Thursday. Take care, Laverne. Oh, you too. Are you sure you won't reconsider on this dog? I believe he's blind in one eye. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. <laughs> uh, she's a great lady. But. But what? She's a great lady, but. But nothing. Lee is absolutely terrific. I mean, she's intelligent, attractive, funny. She's got it all. But. But I just don't feel any magic. Does that sound silly? There's just no magic? The only thing silly is you seeing her again on Thursday. Does she have an answering machine? Yeah, why? You better call her and cancel that date. Why? Because if there ain't no magic, there ain't no chance of you two ever having a relationship. We've only been out twice. Is it possible it can grow? No, it don't work that way. I think you're wrong. I am not. I am never wrong about affairs of the heart. Laverne. It's ringing. Put down the phone. Oh, there's a beep. Uh, hi, Leah. I mean, hello, Leah. Uh, this is Harry. It's 2.15, and I was just going to say... I'm really looking forward to Thursday night. I think we're going to have a magical time. What are you going to do, star in high? <laughs> Hi, Carol. What are you still doing up? Just catching up on some reading. Where did you two go tonight? Oh, we heard an evening of Tchaikovsky. You got Barbara to go to a symphony? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I like that one song. <laughs> What's that thing called again? The 1812 Overture. Yeah, that thing. That wasn't bad. <laughs> well, I gotta be going. Good night, Carol. Good night. Night, Barbara. Night. Mm -hmm. 
So what do you think of Bucky? What do I think of him? Yeah, what do you think of him? Well, he, he seems like a very nice young man. <laughs> yeah, he is. I just don't think it's going to work out. Really? Oh, oh. Barbara, honey, I'm very sorry, but you know, it was bound to happen. You're just two very different people, different interests, different tastes. No, it's not that. He wants me to move in with him. This makes no sense. <laughs> I know, it seemed way too soon for me, too, but he is putting the pressure on. He has this thing about commitment. He wants commitment? <laughs> So I want you to talk to him for me. What? I want you to talk to him. I want you to tell him that I like him, okay? But if he doesn't stop pressuring me, it's going to scare me away. Uh, Barbara, I think this is something you'll have to talk to him about yourself. I tried. It doesn't work. You've never had trouble talking with men before. I know, but Bucky's different. I mean, I know he's this big, tough cop and everything, but he's really sensitive. Sensitive, too? Yeah, he gets that sad look in his eye, and then I just can't go on. So you've got to talk to him for me, please. You want me. Carol, I'd trade a limb for a husband, Weston. To tell this sensitive guy who wants you to move in with him to stop all this commitment talk before it ruins your relationship? Yeah. Here's your jacket, Harry. Oh, uh, amen. Whoa, 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 wait, what is this? I don't see anything. Charlie, there's a big black stain here. Oh, I, I think that was there when you loaned it to me, Harry. Charlie? All right, all right. I got some squid ink on it. Squid ink? How did you manage to get squid ink on my jacket? Long story, cruise ship, jealous husband. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Charlie, there's a huge spot on one of my favorite jackets. Well, I can tell you right now, salt water ain't gonna get it out. <laughs> okay, I'll take it to the dry cleaners. Right. Where are you up to? A date. Oh. Charlie, can I ask your advice about something? You want my advice? Well, Harry, I'm flattered. I hope it's a subject I know something about. It's about women. Bingo. <laughs> the thing is, Charlie, this lady I'm seeing, is great. Mm. But there's just no magic. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's isolate the problem. Legs, waist, bust. Oh, Charlie, stop. Do I have to? I was kind of enjoying it. <laughs> this isn't about sex. Harry, <laughs> please. It's always about sex. <laughs> okay, here's what I do when I go out with a gal who doesn't... How can I put this tactfully? Make the old love rocket when I take that trip out to the launch pad? <laughs> what I do is just squint and pretend she's Kim Basinger. Yeah, works every time. That is nuts. What's nuts? Oh, you don't think women have been doing this for years? Hell, I'm sure half the time your wife was with you, she was imagining you were Cary Grant or someone. Thank you, Charlie, I feel much better. Well, you wanted my advice, I'm glad I could help. You owe me big, babe. I'll get this back to you in a couple of days. Hope they can do something about that harpoon hole in your pants. Daddy, can I talk to you? Oh, uh, honey, I was just on my way out. It's all right, it can wait. You sure? Yes, it's nothing. Okay. It's just that the universe is so random and I'm not sure I can deal with it without losing my mind. <laughs> I guess I could spare a minute. <clears throat> What's going on? Oh, Daddy, it's so unfair. No, no, every time I have a problem, I come running to you. Maybe it's time I finally stood on my own two feet. I like the theory, dear. Now, you just go on off to your date and don't worry about me. Are you sure? Positive. You just have a good time and forget I ever said anything about losing my mind. Okay, dokie. <laughs> Leah, I am so sorry about that movie. Oh, Harry, forget it. Well, I never would have taken it had I known there'd be so much blood and guts. Harry, it's okay. I'm just sorry you got so nauseous. No. <laughs> How's your stomach? Better, better. You know, I do think that Arnold Schwarzenegger has really grown as an actor. You do? Yeah, when he ripped that guy's head off, I believed he felt bad about it. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah, why? <laughs> You're just sort of squinting. Uh, you, you've been doing that all evening. Oh, I'm sorry, have I? I must have had something in my eye. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's gone now. Oh. And uh, I must be going to. Oh, do you have to? Yep, yeah, gotta get up early, put on the white coat, cure kids and stuff. Right. Well, good night. <laughs> Good morning, Laverne. Good morning, Doctor. Well, you were right. I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> what exactly was I right about? Leah. Oh, you mean no magic, no chance of a relationship? I guess I'd better give her a call. You want me to send some flowers with the usual sorry it didn't work out note? Please. Well, I'll get right on that just as soon as I get this collar on. <laughs> the puppy you're giving away. Well, it's the puppy I was going to give away. I don't know. I got to the shelter and I just couldn't go through with it. I, I'm on a dog scale of one to ten. He said he's just a minus seven. <laughs> but for some reason, I've just, I've just grown kind of fond of him. Oh, he's not so bad. <laughs> Doctor, don't you have work to do? Right. Now, hold still. That's a good little Harry. <laughs> Harry, hey? Well, he's scrawny and lazy and can't take orders. Harry, just come to mind. <laughs> okay, Bucky will be here any minute. I'll be upstairs. Barbara, I'm not so sure this is a good idea. I really think you should just talk to him yourself. Carol, you promised. I'm counting on you. Plus, it'll be a good experience in case you ever have to talk to a guy who's crazy about you. <laughs> I never knew people really said this, but woe is me. Hi, Carol. Barbara ready? Uh, in a minute. Bucky, can we talk? Sure. Um, Bucky, Barbara told me how you've asked her to move in. She told you about that? Yes. Well, she wanted to discuss it with you herself, but she's finding it very difficult. So she asked me to talk to you for her. Oh. Anyway, what it boils down to is, she's feeling pressured. I guess I have come on a little strong, but you see, I'm the kind of guy, when I, when I find something I want, I go after it. What a lovely quality. <laughs> Apparently not to Barbara. Who? Your sister. Oh, right. Bucky, what you have to understand about Barbara is that she's always been very independent. Commitment frightens her. So what I think you need to do is just take it slower. You're right, you're right, I know. It's just... I'm so crazy about her, Carol. I think about her all the time. I, I do want her to move in with me. I do want that commitment. And if it works out, I want to get married and have children. I, I, I know it's just been a short time, but is that such a terrible thing? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, it is a terrible thing to Barbara. That's the kind of talk that's going to scare her off. Sounds like maybe the best thing is to stand this now. Well, well, Bucky, no, that's not what I was saying. Just take it slower is all. That's not me. I just don't operate that way. Please explain it to her, okay? Bucky. Oh, God, I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> You'll get over it. I won't. I won't. Where am I ever going to find somebody to replace her? Oh, Bucky. I'm sure there's someone somewhere who's right for you. Who? 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 I don't know. Just leave me alone, all right? <laughs> Good night. Where's Bucky? What happened? He left. Why? 
I explained it all to him, Barbara. But he was so in love with you, he felt that he couldn't take it slower. He thought it was best to end it all now. I'm sorry, Barbara. Hey, no prob. No prob? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it worked out for the best. I mean, any guy who acts like that after just a couple of dates has got to be a little nuts. Nuts, too. <laughs> but thanks for helping me out, Carol. <sighs> oh, Daddy, I'm so glad you're back. Can I talk to you? Your own two feet thing didn't work out, eh? I just don't get it, Daddy. What? It's Bucky. That boy Barbara was dating, he embodied everything I ever wanted in a man, Daddy. Intellectual, sensitive, a little unstable. But all he could see was Barbara. Barbara, who didn't appreciate any of his qualities. Barbara, who could take him or leave him. Why can't I find a Bucky Barnes? Is there something wrong with me, Daddy? Oh, sweetheart, no. There's nothing wrong with you, dear. The problem is love. There's just no logic to it. Who knows why this guy went for Barbara? Now, last night, I was out with a lady who on paper is absolutely perfect for me. And as much as I wanted to, I couldn't feel anything. And I don't know why. Then there's Laverne. Laverne has fallen in love with a dog she can't stand. It's not you, dear. It's love. It's just no accounting. You're right, Daddy. You're right. It makes absolutely no sense why we love the people we do. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I love you. <laughs> I love you too.